In this video, we're going to talk about multiplying fractions. So, here's an example for you. We want to multiply 2 thirds times 1 fourth. And this is a pretty simple process. What we do is we multiply straight across the numerator, and we multiply straight across the denominator. And what that means is you take the two numerators, 2 times 1, multiply them together. You get 2, that's your new numerator. You take the two denominators, 3 and 4, you multiply those two together, 3 times 4 is 12. That's your new denominator. Then what you have to do is you have to reduce. Uh, in some cases, your fraction will already be reduced, but in this case you might notice that 2 twelfths is not in lowest terms. The reason is that both 2 and 12 can be divided by the whole number 2. 2 divided by 2 in the numerator gives you 1. 12 divided by 2 in the denominator gives you 1 sixth. Now that is the answer. So 2 thirds times 1 fourth equals 1 sixth. Let's try it again. Let's try uh, 5 fourths times uh, 2 sevenths. So what we do again is we multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator. Multiply 5 times 2 to get our numerator, that's 10. Multiply 4 times 7 to get our denominator, that's 28. Then what we have to do is we have to reduce. You might notice that 10 over 28 is not in lowest terms. Uh, 10 and 28 can both be divided by the same number. Uh, that number happens to be 2 again. You take 10 divided by 2, you get 5. Take 28 divided by 2, and you get 14. Now, you have to ask yourself, is 5 fourteenths in lowest terms? And after a while, you look at it and you say, alright, well, 5 can only be divided by 5 and 1, and 14 can't be divided by 5, so uh, that answer is, an act, is actually in lowest terms. 5 fourteenths. So 5 fourths times 2 sevenths equals 5 fourteenths. Why don't you give a couple of shots? Uh, why don't you try 2 uh, thirds times 9 fourths? Let's work on that one for a little while. Hit pause on your uh, video. Give it a shot. Okay, let's see how you did. Multiply across, straight across the numerator. 2 times 9 is 18. Multiply straight across the denominator. 3 times 4 equals 12. Um, in this case, we're left with a fraction that needs to be reduced. <coughs> Write that a little better. Uh, you'll notice that 18 and 12 can both be divided by uh, a similar number, or the same exact number. Uh, well, you might notice right away that both can be divided by 2. So 18 divided by 2 equals 9, 12 divided by 2 equals 6. Uh, you might notice again that that fraction can be reduced. 9 and 6 can both be divided evenly by 3. So you take 9 divided by 3, and you get 3. You take 6 divided by 3, and you get 2. 3 halves is in lowest terms. So 2 thirds times 9 fourths equals 3 halves. Now before we move on to dividing fractions, I want to mention something. Uh, let's go back to this problem. 2 thirds times 9 fourths. Now, there's something you can do here. Uh, and if you don't like it, you don't have to do it, but it might save you a little bit of time. You might notice that the 2 and the 4 uh, have a common factor. Both the 2 and the 4 can be divided by 2. So what we can do is, instead of uh, multiplying across fractions and then reducing, what we can do is reduce first and then multiply across the fractions. So you'll notice that if you divide both a number in the numerator and a number in the denominator by the same thing, that's legal. 
Uh, you notice when you do that, uh, on the left fraction you get one third, and on the right fraction you get nine, uh, four divided by two is two, nine halves. And you might stop there, or you might notice, hey, I can do the same thing with the nine and the three. The nine and the three have a common factor. Three. You can divide both the three and the nine by three. And what you get on the left is one over three divided by three, which is one, times nine divided by three is three over two. Now what you can do is multiply the fractions that remain. Again, you multiply straight across. One times three, of course, is three. One times two, of course, is two. You get the same answer. So let me go back and explain what we did one more time. In this example up here, what we did is we multiplied 2 thirds and 9 fourths. To do this, we multiplied straight across the numerator to get 18. We multiplied straight across the denominator to get 12. And then we reduced. We reduced to get 3 halves. In this example, what we did was we noticed that the 2 thirds and the 9 fourths could be reduced before we multiply. We reduced the 2 and the 4 by dividing each by 2. 2 divided by 2 gave us this 1 here. 4 divided by 2 gave us this 2 here. Then we noticed that the 9 and 3 could be reduced. 9 and 3 can both be divided by 3, so we did that. We divided 9 by 3 to get 3. We divided by 3 by 3 to get 1. And what we were left with is 1 over 1 times 3 over 2. Then we multiplied across, and we got 3 halves. Either way you do it is fine. Um, just pick the one that you like the best, or mix and match. Um, I just wanted to show you both ways. Um, so that's it for multiplying fractions. Um, next time we'll be dividing fractions.